So today I'm going to show you some things and I'm going to ask you, after I've shown them to you, you've got to identify them first and you've got to um, figure out what they have in common. So here's the first picture. Anyone know what this is? It's a wasp. Yeah, just a regular wasp. They're not difficult. You just shout those out. Uh, the second one. What is this stuff? It is poison oak, yeah. Here's the third one, what's that? A shark, this is a great white shark, yeah. All right, so you're probably getting an idea of what these might have in common. What is this? It is a redwood tree, yeah. Let's look at number five here. Anyone know what this is? Now, I've, it's much bigger. Uh, it's not normally as big as this, thankfully, but um, it is a tick, yeah, it's a tick. So, what are these five things got in common? They all bite. The, the red tree doesn't bite, I don't think. Um, but I'm not sure that bites either. But you're probably thinking they're all irritating or they're all harmful. What they have in common is they all have a purpose. Isn't that amazing? You wouldn't think that these things all have a purpose, but they all play a key part in the ecosystem. And without them, there would be trouble. What does a wasp do? Well, a wasp limits the populations of other insects. It also fertilizes the ground through its nest building and things like that. It pollinates many plants that wouldn't be pollinated without it. You wouldn't think there's much use for poison oak, but there is. Poison oak produces fruits that are a favorite food for many deer and birds. It also is a source, you can make indelible ink from poison oak as well. What about a shark? What's the possible use of a shark? Well, a shark will limit dangerous populations of fish. It will also pick off the weak and the sick fish in a, in a shoal of fish to ensure that the rest of the shoal remains healthy. What about a redwood? I didn't know this either, but a redwood stores bad carbon. And in fact, because redwoods are so big, it protects the climate from damage because it takes all the bad carbon into itself. So much so that a redwood forest can absorb three times more carbon, bad carbon, than any other forest. And the tick, what does the tick do? Well, the tick not only um, can provide us food source for some animals, it also, again, helps regulate the populations of animals. Who figured out that every one of these things is important? Well, it wasn't the, the redwood tree that figured out what the poison oak does, and it wasn't the, uh, the ticks that figured out what the wasps do. It was, of course, humans. Here's our humans here. It was humans who figured out that everything has a purpose. Now, doesn't that say straight away that if humans can figure out that there's a purpose to everything, that there is a purpose to everything, that things aren't random, there is order, there is a very delicate balance in all things, and if one of these things was removed, there would be a disaster, and everything plays its part. Now, you would think to yourself, well, surely then, what is the role and the purpose of humans? Humans are very good at identifying the purpose in everything else, maybe not so good at identifying their own purpose. And from the web, same website, I got all this other information, because I didn't know any of that. I found this. This was the purpose of humans, and this is what it wrote. Continuing to evolve and grow as a person by learning and improving oneself every day. Using one's personal skills and talents to make a meaningful contribution to the broader world. It all sounds a bit vague, doesn't it, to you? It doesn't really sound as if there's any solid purpose there at all. One of them is removing chronic stress from society and ensuring every individual has basic needs met. Well, if that was the purpose, we're getting that badly wrong, aren't we? If all of these other creatures and things play a crucial part in the ecosystem, our contribution to the ecosystem is pretty much to mess it up as far as we can. And the final one was this, collaborating with other human beings to survive and become more powerful. <laughs> really? Is that all we have? Is that our purpose? Is that what we're put on this earth to do? Everything else has a very clear purpose. And it's like we're saying, you know what? We haven't got a clue. The people who can identify the purpose in everyone else, we're saying, we don't know. There is a purpose. What is it? Pastor Joel is going to come and let us know.